Hey guys, it's Sam Robinson here. Welcome to this bonus page for viral video stores. Now I know the first thing you're going to ask me is, Sam, what's different about viral video stores compared to every other video store software I've seen on the market recently? Well, the key difference is, is the word viral. What this does is uh, it allows you to market your product by incentivizing those who, who buy to share it over social media to drive even more traffic to your store, resulting in more income and more sales for you. Now I've had a quick look at this and I've seen all the demo videos uh, with Neil Napier. I'm going to put one on in a second, but it looks incredibly easy to use. That's the number one thing I've noticed. It looks easy to use and it has a lot of really cool points of difference to what we've seen in the market recently, especially being able to market it through viral means and saving more money, many more monies in your pocket that you don't have to spend on marketing. Now uh, I've spoken to Neil about some of the some of the ways he has uh, tested this software to awesome success and I'm sure you're going to find out more about that during the pre-launch webinar so be sure to get on the pre-launch webinar it's at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and then after that uh, the launch goes live at 9 a.m. and there's an early bird special for three hours so be sure to get in really quick to make sure you don't miss out on this unique opportunity I've put a huge bonus pack down below over 17 bonuses if you opt in for the for the uh, OTO one offer as well so this is a huge amount of value for you guys so let's have a look and see what viral video stores is all about Hey there, this is Neil Napier and in this video I'll show you how easy it is to create your own viral video stores. So let's go ahead and start creating a new campaign. Uh, in this case I'll take the fitness market, I'll call this uh, Gym Fit because I don't want to steal some subdomains from others. So we'll call this Gym Fit and let's put this in as well, Gym Fit. And let's click on create active means that your store is ready to work now once you set this up it tells you already that your store has been created your login details have been sent but what you have to do now is simply click on store admin area and uh, you will be able to see the back end as well as visit on the web where you will see the store I won't show you that right now but let's go and look at the store the next step is to configure the whole thing and you can do it very very easily just follow the directions as you click on configure you can start configuring in case if that goes away you can continue by putting in your Amazon details so you can see there's a configurator button let's go ahead and start putting in our details let's add a logo to begin with I'm just gonna go in and uh, quickly search for a logo okay so now that I have my logo I'll just click on next and as you'll see uh, that step is completed the next step is putting in all these details now I'm just going to do the step myself because I can't show you all of my secret details so that's done right now we only allow amazon.com main but we will be adding more stores to it that is code.uk.de and other stores as well next thing you have to do is if you want to connect your Facebook account with it you need to put in your Facebook API key we show you exactly how to grab that so let me put that in there. and finally the last part is adding your products as well so let's start by entering keywords that you want so in this case we are going after gym mats uh, so we'll start with that uh, let's just go ahead and uh, add these products and adding products is as simple as clicking on them once uh, if you do that uh, the products instantly get added but one thing I would recommend while you before you start doing that is when you're setting up your YouTube settings make sure that this is selected if you enable this what it does is it gives you the opportunity to automatically load videos with your products as well so let's go into products and we'll continue to add products on the load so you can see these products have already been added I'm going to go back to the store I'm going to refresh this and you'll see what the store looks like there's a logo there's a name and these are the products that have already been added uh, in here but I want to add some more so let's go back in and say yoga mat and you'll see all these different products show up as well let's select some and if you want to deselect one just click here and it is automatically deselected if you want to show more click on load more and it automatically brings up more products so this is all done I'm happy with that I'm just going to go back to the store and refresh this and you'll see uh, what this looks like there we go so let's click on one of these links to show you what it looks like on the inside on the inside you will see uh, if the video has been uh, enabled then you will see automatically the video has been added these all the reviews from the for the products uh, grabbed directly from Amazon this is the product name 
and people can then buy it right from here. You will see some other buttons here as well, which include Facebook and Twitter and Google Plus too. I won't go into that now, but I will show you those soon. Back in the store, if you want to edit this further, you can do a few things. You can introduce categories, which makes it easy for people to look for your store. So if they wanted a new category, you could add a new one, say Gym Math, Save Changes, and you could enable products to this particular category. Let's just put this together, or rather there. Thing together would be fine. There we go. So this category is now available. You can click on products and associate products with this particular category as well. So I could say all these products are, uh, you know, for the gym mat category, and that is good enough to create that setting. The next thing which is really crucial for your site is the pop-up settings. Now this is how it works. You can configure a pop-up so that you can get people, you can get people to understand that they have to opt in to be able to to win something. This is the incentivization that we've built in. So once you build in something like this, let's say this one shows up in uh, five seconds. Once you build up something like this, what happens is that people can actually sign up to these stores and start earning points and when they start earning points it means more money for you as you get new visitors which are their friends and family let me actually open this in incognito so there we go and once their friends and family come in they instantly are able to sign up and then they're able to share the links on the social media as well to earn more points and more points give them additional uh ways to make to, to earn gets to earn rewards and the way to do that is set it in price settings what you can do is you can set up various different levels of price let's just do that here right now so you can say that okay I want to give away um, uh, an Amazon gift card in this case the price would be let's say the product uh, I could give away one of these products for example and points cost would be 200 so once you do this, as you click on save right here, what it does is it gets people to participate. It gets people excited. So now you'll see the slider menu. As soon as they click here, they're able to start participating in the contest, which is what you want to do if you want your stores to go viral. So all of this is self-contained within this store creator. Uh, you also get some analytics here. So you can go here and see exactly how many points people are earning. And you can also see store analytics here, which shows you the email addresses. And of course, in the dashboard itself, you have different analytics about how many products exist, how many users, and so on and so forth. And of course, you also have your subscriber list here, which you can download if you don't want it to come via autoresponder. For autoresponder, you can set everything here via this autoresponder uh, section you can either connect with get response aweber mailchimp or you can simply use the html this in essence is viral video stores and i hope you enjoy it and i hope you get access to it as soon as possible